Hello, this is Sophie Dawson from sophiedawson.com and this is another click look video where we click look at various art books and magazines and this should hopefully be issue number 22 of the Character Design Quarterly magazine. So let's go and have a look at this one with little Dennis. So some of my favourite character design, well this was the last issue, issue number 21 which was a green themed one and I thought this one was a really cool one a really like a funny character because <laughs> look he's been, eat he's been eating like a he's eating a butterfly or something he's a bit like a mischievous character but to some of my favourite covers these ones I still think this is my favourite cover issue number 6 so let's get into this one and see if it's see if the cover's as good as see if it's the best one watch this <laughs> oh look! <laughs> little Dennis has got a collar. The thing is, these things are very sticky. Look, little Dennis has got a little collar. Inside we go. Oh yeah, we got a new um, sketchbook because this subscription just renewed. Oh, this is interesting. My initial thoughts is there's an, a hint of um, sort of I don't know if the word is evilness, but that pointy nose. But what I'm liking, what strikes me the most is the texture here. Like there's like a there's a beautiful effect there, and I like this. Oh, I like the um, purple bit. The purple matches her earphones. Yeah, she looks a bit like she's um, sleepwalking or something. But I can tell already it's not my favourite cover. I think my favourite is still that one. But what I like about this is, look, Xbox. That's the Xbox logo. And I like this as well. I kind of like that. It's like a sort of, um, like a bit of a personality type thing. Because what's weird here is she looks a little bit, I would say, depressed. But that symbol is, is like a sort of a coolness. So it's almost like inside of her she's feeling cool, but she's not projecting it outwards or something. <laughs> little Dennis lets us in. Little stick figures look. I like that purple. I love how simple that is. So what we do on these is we just go through the magazine and talk about it. I like our initial feelings. <laughs> She's cool. Very warm and friendly. And I like that. Behind the cover art, Max Max Greek Grecky. Be interested to read this one. one of the <laughs> He's cool. Oh, I like that look. A little like friendship thing there. Friendship between the aliens. This is really weird because the rest of these art, this artist's characters are all very like curvy. This one's quite angular, which is a bit strange. I like this one. Look at the hands. Look how big those hands are, look. I love that. I wonder if they always... Yeah, look, their characters always have really big hands. Even our little child's got quite big hands. Hee <laughs> Crafting the cover. Oh, yeah. Sketchbook. Oh, see that? Here's my alternative concept for the cover. I think they should have gone with that one. Because that's got like a vibe, a happy vibe to it. This one just feels a bit sort of, um... There's, there's like a sort of a... Sort of a depressing feeling about it. Which I suppose is good, because it makes you feel things.
I love seeing the um the the textures right at the end, the final polish. I love that hat. Makes it feel like it's sort of carbon fibre or something. <laughs> Sp look, splendorous shapes. Splendorous. That's interesting. Cutting out characters. Hey, look, look. It says draw the little character shapes and then cut them out. That's interesting. So there's a hint of playing in this one. Yeah, and the characters are quite playful as well. The tiger's tail. I like that, look. the tiger's tail. I wonder if little Dennis likes having a collar on. I wouldn't like to have a collar. But I imagine what happens is you get to a point where if they took the collar off, you would suddenly feel sort of naked. And you'd probably end up wanting the collar back on. I like the shape of these creatures, look. I like that. This is the tiger's tail. Always check your values. See, now that would have been beautiful for cover. That would have been absolutely beautiful, that would. A family affair. <laughs> Three generations, look. Oh, cool. I like this one. Creating a grandmother. I like a big bum. That's what I like. The mother. I feel like they had fun doing this one. The daughter. Who's my favourite? My favourite's the grandmother. The daughter feels a bit sort of like um, a spoilt sort of a spoilt child or something. She's she's nice. I'd like her to be my friend. This one seems like she's the one that she'd be the most fun. I get the impression she's like because when some old people they get to a point where they just don't care anymore. So they it's almost like they become free from. Conforming to society. I like this one here. That is brilliant. Eddie Okaba. Interesting. I'd like to look into this character, this artist. Oh, look, here he is. Look. <laughs> I imagine he, he's at home dressing up as Spider Man. Yeah, I get the impression, right? He's not just drawing Spider-Man. He's actually dressing up as him. Interesting, these are. Emotion Masterclass. I love that one. Yeah. Joachim Widinger. Joachim Widinger. This one here has got amazing... Um, Gestures. Look at it, you can feel the, um, it's one of those, sometimes you see something, you can almost see it moving. I love that, look at that, look. Look at Developing a story beat. <laughs> look, I like that. Scale it. Oh, I like this artist. Daniel Tau. Daniel Tall. Yeah, th these are really fun characters. Look. I could imagine this being a an anime, like a cartoon or something. 
Yeah, these are brilliant. Oh, look at that there. Look at him there. <laughs> these are the best characters so far for me. This is an artist I'd look into. I like this one as well, look. Tom Bancroft. Cheerleading mermaid. <laughs> Not Tony. I have an identical twin brother. Oh, these are cool as well. <laughs> oh, some brilliant... Some brilliant characters in here. They obviously like the mermaids. Yeah, I was thinking that. These must have been from Mermaid. They did the art challenge. Look at that, look. One minute you've got this, like. Next minute. Expressing emotions. Tear four and jubilant. Again, I like these shapes of these characters. The gallery, this is little Dennis's favourite bit. <laughs> he likes this bit. I wish you could feel the paper. There's, there's, there's beautiful. It almost feels like there's like um, bits of sand on the paper. There's like a little texture thing. I like that. I like the um, the style of that, the way they've coloured it in. It's cool. This is. Oh yeah, these are a bit like um, Lee White from SVS Learn. Whimsical. I'd I'd love to exist in that world. Because you can just imagine it's like fun every day. The little cat like. These characters are cool. I like those. Mecking a scene. <laughs> Mecking. Greg Baldwin. Michael Baldwin. Was it Baldwin? From um, Coronation Street. Mike Baldwin. Mike Baldwin. Background information. I'm not really into my mechs, which is weird because in anime, I love mechs in anime, but I'm not interested in drawing them, which is a bit weird. Because when you get a mech design in an anime or something, it's amazing. But I like it when you see the character. I think that the reason I like mechs in anime is because you normally, you see like the character inside of the mech. So it's almost like you feel like the, the mech is actually the character, like the human. This one's got a little cat inside. See, this would have been good if the, you saw what the, um, what the character inside looked like. I'd like to see what they were like outside of the, the mech suit. That is a cool image though. Oh, it's finished. These always end too soon. And here's our little friends, look. We've got a very diverse selection of artists today. I've seen this one before. Isn't it amazing how different all these artists are? You've got young ones, old ones, And that's why all the art is different as well. It's weird. Like when I look at artists' faces, I sort of think that God or the universe is a is an artist. And all of these different artists are just stylized humans that God created. <laughs> stick figures. But what's good about this is even the stick figures can have lots of emotion about them. Oh, that was brilliant. 
Character Design Quarterly Magazine is my favourite thing in the world. There is never, there's never a bad issue with these. Like there's some stuff in here which is just amazing. And I can tell that these are characters I'd like to copy, like sketching my sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a look at Character Design Quarterly Magazine issue number 22. And we also got another sketchbook, which is brilliant. Because what they do is, when you subscribe to the magazine, you get, well, last time I don't think I got a sketchbook, I'm not sure. But what happens is you normally get a sketchbook. <laughs> look, Dennis, look. You normally get a sketchbook like this. And, but what they've started doing now is you actually get the first four issues as a PDF file. So you get like digital versions of the first four issues and you can't buy the first four issues anymore. So I thought that was quite nice of them to do that. But I'm loving, because I was thinking, ah, oh, maybe we're not going to get a sketchbook anymore because we're getting the um, PDFs now. But we're getting this as well. So that's cool. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you later for another one.